Hey my friends, today I wanted to do a super quick little unboxing video because I just got a sneak peek of Furl's Crochet's new, um, it's a Wims Merino which they already had the lighter weight out um, and now they've come out with this amazing super squish worsted weight and I'm kind of loving it. Like, they also, did y'all notice, it used to come like this in the Hanks, which, you know, they're super cute for, like, the Instawebs, but they suck super bad when you're trying to cake them up. And so now they have switched to this cute little skein. It's still the, it's still the same, um, like, number of yards and stuff like that, but... Hello, you can just take it out of the box and start crocheting or knitting. So anyway, I am working up a design for the Furls blog hop coming up in March. I'm so excited about it. Um, and when I got to pick a couple of colors to work with, this charcoal gray and gorgeous yellow kind of were screaming my name, even though they're so not really, I mean, I'm definitely a mustard person and gray, but, um, you know, y'all know I'm 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 the hashtag wine hashtag burgundy like give me all the millennial pinks. But anyway, these were screaming at me. Look at that fluff. You see that squ I mean they're really really soft. Um so the cool thing about this is whether you're knitting or crocheting, it is a Z twist. So most traditional yarns are twisted um, I believe counterclockwise so when you're crocheting and you do your yarn overs or whatever you're actually untwisting the way the yarn is twisted as you go because you are um, looping it over in a clockwise motion and that's why you get split yarn and stuff like that so Z twist that's all it means is it's talking about the axis here I am with my sciencey stuff coming out right but um, it's just twisted the opposite way so that when you're crocheting with it, it doesn't split and, you know, just come untwisted. Um, I'll actually be knitting with it and I'm really excited about it just because of the squish in it. Also, the Z-twist really helps with stitch definition. But So I had gotten this yellow and gray because I had an amazing pillow design in my head because y'all know me and my throw pillows. Like, oh, they're my favorite. But... Once I saw this, I don't know. I have three friends right now who are pregnant with cute little babies. And yellow and gray always screams sweet little baby to me because that's what I did my little boy's nursery in when he was little. And it's just so sweet. I crocheted him his little, he calls it a softie, but his little blankie um, that he still sleeps with when he's seven. And it's yellow and gray. And it's just, it's it, it's really meaningful to me, but I'm kind of torn because I was going to start working up my swatches for my pillow design, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking working up something sweet baby in honor of my friends who are pregnant with little babies. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all. So the Wims Merino, um, I had worked up the hat, um, the beaded rib, the AJK beaded rib beanie for the Furls blog um, or the knit along in December and I use the Wims Merino the lightweight version so I am super excited about the worsted weight just because you know it does work up a little quicker um, it feels super durable it's a like I said four medium weight 50% fine superwash merino wool 50% nylon so that is kind of perfect for being able to throw this in the washer, throw them in the dryer. That nylon's going to help, you know, with the sturdiness of whatever you're making. Um, that's kind of, I mean, it's perfect for throw pillows because it's going to be durable. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Should I make something sweet baby out of it? Anyway, I just had to show y'all. For Also, like how cute is their label? Come on. But yeah, so I've got... Oh, another thing is the yardage on these. Kind of excited. It's, it looks like a tiny little skein. It's 103 yards, but it is worsted. So, um, yeah. I'm impressed with it. 
it just feels really good. All right, y'all are gonna have to let me know. Should I work up a sweet baby blanket or should I keep going with a mosaic? I really wanted to showcase mosaic knitting. Um, I feel like for beginning knitters, color work is like super, super scary. And um, mosaic knitting is different than Fair Isle um, in that you don't have to strand your color work. You're not carrying all these colors with you across your work and constantly trying to figure out like how do I hold two sticks and four colors of yarn and this is a circus and I'm tired of this and let me throw it across the room because I'm really really over it. That's never happened to me obviously. But mosaic knitting you're only working with two strands at a time and another cool thing is all your ends are on one side of the work. Isn't that cool? So all your weaving in, whatever, they're all on only one side of the work. You carry all your ends there so it keeps everything super neat. You don't have to worry about any ends sticking out in the back and stuff like that. So um, I really wanted to showcase mosaic knitting and show that maybe if you're scared of color work, um, it'd be a really, really cool first project to do. Now I'm talking myself back into it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Message me, whatever. Let me know what you would rather have for the blog hop. Um, the pattern will be free on my addisonjameknits.com blog, and it, like I said, it is hosted by Ferls. So, get ready. I'm so excited to, um, yeah, to, to give y'all a free pattern. Thanks, guys.